If you're watching this video, you've probably come from one of my can it run or will it run videos. This is just showing the two systems that I use to put the graphics cards into. On the left is the slow CPU, which is a Haswell machine. And on the right is an AM4 Ryzen 4750G system, which is the fast CPU system. As you can see, one's a mini ITX and one's an ATX. Both have configured with 16 gig of RAM. Of course, DDR3 there and DDR4 here. Hard drive space, this is just gonna be using SATA drives. And this was using a SATA drive in here to keep it as fair as possible. Graphics cards, both are stored in a 16X slot, both running at 16X, so no bottlenecks there. Each time a game is run, it's running all different settings, as you probably know, and I will show you now the performance and a few benchmarks of this CPU by itself. In CPU Z, we score 305 single thread and 1141 in multi thread, which is not too bad. In Geekbench, we score 638 and 2,323. In Passmark, we score 4,202. And in Cinebench, we score, as with the other tests, quite low as well. And now, the comparison, the 4750G CPU performance, so you can gauge your CPU based on these. In CPU Z, we score considerably higher at 534 in single thread, but 5,669 in multi thread. Similar story in Geekbench, we score 1,199 in single thread and 7,437 in multi core. And once again, in pass mark, we score a massive 21,000. And lastly, in Cinebench R20, this CPU scores 11,069, so considerably faster than the i5. Now you've seen the two CPUs in terms of their performance in Passmark and CPU Z and a few other benchmarks. You can kind of, if you run the same test, links below in the description of the software used, to gauge your CPU on a scale of is it either this CPU, this CPU, faster, slower or somewhere in between, which will give you an idea on if your GPU is being bottlenecked by your CPU or not, and it gives you comparable performance when looking at my Will It Run videos. I may add an additional super slow CPU to this may be a very slow dual core, but at the moment this 35T is a very slow quad core and hopefully should show the same thing. So, thank you for watching. Any questions, ask them below. If you wish to see any of the different configurations with the Canon Run videos, just mention it below. It takes a long time to run these videos because you have to swap cards out, reinstall drivers, install games, and all that kind of thing. So, it's a bit of a time consuming process, but we get there in the end. So, thank you for watching. I'll be posting more videos soon i will do them in groups of game so not to bombard youtube with daily updates so until next time thank you for watching and goodbye